everyone, Carol from Carol's Vintage Treasures, and today I have a Shop Goodwill auction of some jewelry that I purchased. In uh, it was listed as gorgeous gold tone jewelry lot with brands, designer pieces. Uh, it came from Illinois. The I got it for ten ninety nine. And then there was $13.27 for shipping, $2 for handling, so it ended up being $26.26 altogether. I did open this <laughs> because my video cut off and I'm redoing the video. Full disclosure, I didn't open anything yet, but I just opened up the box. So that's what it looks like, first glance. Lots of paper I will reuse, and I will reuse the box. There's the jewelry itself. Go ahead and see what we got here. Like it's in a baggie. I'm going to be very paranoid now that my camera is going to shut off. If it does, I will continue it on. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. I'm not sure what's going on. But this was oh listed as gorgeous gold tone jewelry grab bag, some designer brands and names. And the description is gorgeous grab bag, lot of mixed jewelry in gold tones, a few brand designer names, including Necklaces, pendants, bracelet, rings, size five and a half, etc. There's a three eighth of an inch wide band by Espo. Ten karat gold filled, a Michael Kors heart shaped pendant with a few crystals that appear to be dirty and need a good cleaning. Plus Talbot's crystal romance uh, with Swakarski crystals, Monet, and more. So sounded good to me. I went ahead to see what good on it and see what we have here. So first thing I'm seeing here, this is from Crystal Romance. It's fine silver plated crystals from Swarovski. Okay, next thing I see here is a necklace. Looks like there is a mark on it. Let me see if I can figure out where this came from. Get my handy dandy loop here. It says icing. So, just a piece of costume jewelry, faux pearls. Let's see what's in here. So this must have been the band they were talking about. Very small. It'll fit on my pinky. <laughs> see if I can see any markings in this one. Uh, it says 10 carat GF Espo. So GF is gold filled. So we got that. Let's see what this is. This is a bracelet with a heart on it. Don't see any kind of a marking. Well, maybe. Oh, this is Michael Kors. So we have a Michael Kors bracelet, and here we have another, looks like a chain. Let's see if there, we can see what this is. This is, this is not cooperating. Monet. So this is marked Monet. It's a chain. Yeah, 
Okay. Looks like we have a statement necklace here. Some faceted stones and some crystals around them. Let's see. This is Talbot's. So, a little Talbot's necklace. And next we have this one. This double strand of beads there. Let's see. And this is Mark Talbot's also. going to be kind of a short video. I thought there were more things in this box. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <sighs> this is quite elaborate. Let's see what this is. Probably Talbot's again. Yeah, Talbot's. So, beaded multi-strand necklace. It's pretty. So, not a whole lot in here. I was expecting a little more. I'm not sure why. Uh, but not bad. Let's count how many things we have here, and then I'll give you my cost of goods. Oh, it's got little crystals on. I didn't notice that. There's a little... I guess this is the Michael Kors bracelet. A lot of Michael Kors you could get at Kohl's right now. So, it's not really the big designer brand that it used to be. But, okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight items. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. This is not one of my better ones. <laughs> I can tell ya. Okay. What did we say? I'm trying to get my calculator up here. I've got out of the habit of using this laptop, so it's harder to find things for me. I've been using my desktop. And I think I just, oh wow. Let's see. 26.26 is what I pay, so we'll say $27. And find that calculator again. Sorry, I'm fumbling. <sighs> I didn't even pull up the calculator. I pulled up a search for calculators that it won't let me close. This is really weird. I will use my regular calculator then that I have on my desk. Oh. 27 dollars divided by... I've already forgotten how many there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You probably already have it figured out, right? <laughs> About $3.38 a piece. Make sure that's right. My goodness. Okay. You 
Yeah, about $3 and 38 cents a piece. Not too bad. I'm sure I'll make my money back. Uh, not one of the better ones. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was better than this, but not bad. I'm not going to complain about it. It was pretty good. Um, yeah, let me look at this picture again. Yeah, I guess it's about right. If I saw this again today, I don't think I would bid on it. But I think it's all right. Uh, we'll see what we can do. I will put this stuff up in my Etsy store. My link's in the description if you want to take a look and see what I listed it for. And not too bad. Got some pretty pieces here, some nice statement pieces. Some Talbots. I think Talbots is a mall brand. But this is not all that they made it out to be, I don't think. Because <laughs> 10 karat gold plated is not that great. But anyway, I think we did all right. There could be a missing stone in there. But I will check them all out. Um, I think I did okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Sorry if it was a little bit... A little bit crazy. <laughs> Had the problem with my camera. I don't know what's going on. But I think we'll do okay with this stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it up in my Etsy store and see what happens. If it's not old enough to go in my Etsy store, I'll put it in my Poshmark store. That link is in the description also. So, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.